okay so uh, let's look at binary size tree division so now we know that uh, binary what is what is binary uh, tree means binary uh, tree means basically uh, it can have at most two children so this is binary tree and we learned about binary search trees binary search trees where if this these are valued as x y z then x is less than y and z is greater than y and uh, we have learned how this binary search tree insertion works as well and let's see how the deletion works uh, within the binary search trees so in binary search trees deletions there are three cases so first one is uh, the deleting child has no children which is the most simplest case basically if some node not having any children then such a node will be considered as a leaf so deletion of a leaf is very simple we can just delete such a node so basically case one means uh, let's say some tree like this so suppose this is the node that i'm going to delete and this node has no children so that's that is the case one deletion so uh, I will uh, explain such steps in later. Uh, for now, just I uh, introduce what are these cases. And the case two is basically uh, there is only one children. So it can be either uh, something like this, let's say something like this. So if I'm going to delete this node, this node only having uh, left child. Okay, and I'm considering uh, some tree like let's say like this. Then if I'm going to delete this node, uh, this node only having right child. Okay, so only one child. And basically, case three means there is two uh, two children, which means like this. Uh, so suppose some kind of binary search tree like this. And if I'm going to delete this node and this node having both left and right children, so such a deletion will be considered as a case 3. So these are the three cases, and this is just the introduction, and let's see uh, those stuff in more descriptively. So this is the algorithm, so I'm not going to uh, directly explain this algorithm. Uh, first I will explain the cases then I will come to this algorithm because uh, it will be easier to explain so the case one as I said before there is no children so suppose if I am going to delete 12 so 12 has no children so I can just delete it just de delete such a leaf node okay? so just delete such a leaf node if a node having no children and this is the case 2 which is kind of uh, harder than the first case so as I said before your node must might be having a left child or maybe your node might be having a right child so if you are not having left child and you are going to delete this node what you have to do is first swap these values okay so swapping means basically this 39 will be replaced as 12 and 12 will be replaced as 39 then delete 39 because now 39 is a leaf node and you, uh, the value you have to delete is 39 as well then you can simply delete this because, because it, it is uh, something like a leaf node so the final tree will be look like this so 12 will be placed over here and 39 there is no 39 anymore it has deleted it has already deleted and uh, this is the uh, second uh, case where 
uh, okay uh, this is again another example so suppose you are we want to delete 12 uh, 14 so the 14 having the left child of 34 so you can simply replace the value so 34 will be replaced as 30 uh, 40 will be replaced as 34 and 34 will be replaced as 40 then you can simply delete this node then the final tree will be look like this okay so this is the case two. so case 3 uh, we, uh, kind of difficult than case 2 and uh, now you have both left and right children so let let us see how this deletion works so now you have to consider this in order predecessors and uh, in order successors so basically in order predecessor means something like this and I explain why and in order successor is something like this 78 and uh, I'll explain why so in order successor sorry in order predecessor so in order predecessor means the largest value in the left subtree the largest value in the left subtree is so if you are considering this as a tree then the left subtree is this side and the largest value of the left subtree will be in the most right side right because this as again a left subtree and the highest value will be in the right side side so basically 55 is the not a predecessor likewise the smallest value in the right subtree means the leftmost value in the right subtree <coughs> in this case it is 78 because we can't get the 8 in it because 80 is the most right side right and it is not the smallest value that it we exist on the right subtree uh, the smallest value that is exist on the uh, right subtree is basically 78 so that is the <coughs> so that is the in order successor so you can deal, perform your deletion either using this in order predecessor or in order successor so first uh, let's see this in order predecessor deletion so basically um, now we know in order predecessor is 55 so what will happen is basically uh, 56 and 54 will be swapped so 56 will be replaced as 54 and 54 will be replaced as 56 and again we replace these values so swapping will be happened over here so 56 replaced as 55 and 55 replaced as 56 now the node that we are going to delete is exist on the leaf so we can simply delete it right okay. so final tree will be looked like this 54 will be there 55 will be there if i'm going to use uh, in order successor then i should consider the right subtree so the swapping will happen like this so 78 will be replaced as 56 and 56 will be replaced as 78 and uh, again 56 will be replaced as 18 and 18 will be replaced as 56 now the node that we are going to be deleted uh, is exist on the new node so we can simply delete it so the final tree will be look like this 78 will be here and 18 will be here okay so those are the three cases of the deletion and uh, let's see the algorithm now okay so first uh, this is kind of difficult algorithm so you can see these three cases over here these three statements so those are the basically our three cases so if your tree left is null and tree right is null which means it's the case one because there is no children and if your uh, trees left is null left is not null which means there exists some left children over here and if you are uh, if you are trees not having 
some right child which means the left child is null then it will be like this so this is basically case 2 implementation and this whole thing is the case 3 implementation so if the value not the value to be deleted is less than your free value i explained that the swapping process will be happen so basically uh, over here there is no swapping process but uh, it will search uh, down to your tree what is the node that it should be deleted so it will go like this and uh, that specific node will be deleted so this is the case 3 <coughs> And find the largest node means now we are uh, considering the in order predecessor. Find the largest node means we are considering in order predecessor. And yes, we can replace this value as this uh, statement as find smallest node then. Uh, such value should be searched from free right side so such a case will be a in order successor and uh, after finding uh, after found out the value the value will be deleted and the space will be free okay and if the value to be deleted is not exist on the tree it will simply print the value is not exist on the tree okay so th that is how basically uh, deletion algorithm works and uh, so that is the uh, all about that we should have understand about binary search trees and the next uh, clip we will see uh, some another data structure as well so thank you